Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to talk about Yankee Candle. So we're here to talk about my favorite Yankee Candles, Elevation Candles. Not only are we gonna talk about those, we're gonna talk about the Fall Elevation Candles. So I was at my Yankee Candle outlet today and they had a huge display of the Elevation Candles, all fall and winter scents for 15 bucks. I stocked up, I have reviewed, I have burned every single one of these candles before. So these are all repurchases. And I figured, I talked to you guys before about how much I love them. So now I'm gonna talk about why I love them and why I repurchase them. So let's first start out with an Elevation Candle. If you remember back in the day, Yankee Candle had a collection called the Pure Radiance line. They looked like vases. They had a thicker wick, like a wood wick, but it didn't crackle. There were a bunch of different fronts. I believe there was like 12 cents to start out with. And then they expanded to a wooden wick with like a textured glass. They were amazing. They were decorative. They were like Yankee Candle's first step into like more... I don't want to say a designer candle, but more of a home candle, more of a decorative candle that was meant for burning. They were amazing. I loved them. They first started with perfect pillars, so they were regular Yankee scents, just in a more streamlined contemporary look. Then they slowly expanded and changed it to Pure Radiance. Love them. I wasn't as big of a fan of the Wooden Wick Pure Radiances as I was the original line. That's just my opinion. But... When they came out with these Elevation Candles, I've told you guys in my empties, I love them. Yankee has been very disappointing for the past few years. Scents don't throw, nothing. So when I saw these Elevations, I was skeptical. When I tried them, I can't even remember what my first one was. But they were incredible. Anyway, these are my favorite fall. And there's one... It's considered winter scent in this bunch. So there's three different sizes. This is the large two wick tumbler. So they look like this. They're tapered down and I'll explain why that's important in a moment. They have a gold brushed lid that is beveled on the top and sunken on the bottom. So when you elevate the candle, you take the lid you place the candle on there. Now it's not a magnet, it's not a suction, it's not going to suck to the bottom. There are four little glue dots on the bottom, if you can see that, that help hold it together, but it's not meant to like stay. It might stay for a second, but it falls. They are the Parasoy Blend Wax, two wicks, and this is retails for $25. Don't ever pay full price, you don't need to. Then, there is the three wick. It is a shorter candle. I want to say these are $19.95. I'm not 100%. And then there is the small elevation one wick, just like this. But what's amazing, these happen to be three different fragrances, but when you stack them together and burn them together, they look beautiful. Now, granted, the small jar is gonna burn through faster than the medium and faster than the large, but say you have like a dinner party or you have a big party, big fancy dinner, something like that, and you want your candles to look great, get a brand new one of all three, light them for the first time there for the party. It'll fill your entire house with scent, these elevation candles, especially if you have all three burning. One in my whole studio apartment, I can smell it upstairs, downstairs, bathroom, you name it, I can smell it. and. I love them. Enough said. Actually, not enough said. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, wired right now. I love these candles. There's two wicks. Candles burn in a circle. When you get a wax bowl, it burns in a circle. It's going to burn kind of wonky the first few burns. Unless you let it burn, like, 10 or 12 hours, which I don't recommend you do. Once you blow it out, it's not going to hit the edges, and you're going to be like, this is junk. Why is he telling me these candles are great? Trust me and listen. Listen they taper all the way down. So when you burn them about here, 
it's all gonna catch up and it's gonna be a beautiful burn all the way down. So when you're done with this candle, there's gonna be barely the tiniest bit of wax left on every single one I've had. It's incredible. Like they burn so well, they throw so well. I love how sophisticated and upscale they are. Like if I smelled this, any of these scents without knowing the brand, I would not think it was a Yankee candle. That's the honest truth. So let's talk about my favorite scents and I'm pulling up the notes here so I can describe them to you. So the first one we have is the one I've been showing, which is Amaretto Apple. So the notes on Amaretto Apple say a warm winter treat that makes the home welcoming with apple just baked in amaretto and cinnamon. To me guys, when you smell this, you don't immediately smell apple, like a traditional Macintosh, sweet apple, Granny Smith. Those, you immediately smell apple. I love when they put alcohol in fragrances because it really takes it to the next level. So you have these apples that have been soaking almost like a flambe in the amaretto sauce, which is like an amaretto is an almond liqueur. So you have this like really like nutty almond scent with the apple. It comes out on fresh vanilla ice cream and then just drizzled cinnamon, like sprinkled cinnamon on top. That's that in a candle. One of the best desserts that you've had in a five-star restaurant in the fall, this apple scent, that is it. That's the only way I can describe it. A really upscale, fruity, gourmand, boozy apple treat. Apple's in there, but it's simmered down, it's baked, it's creating in this beautiful dessert, and that's amaretto apple. I love it. So when I saw they had that, I knew I needed to pick one of those guys up. Next, we have Fig and Clove. It has this really awesome purple. Everything's very subtle. The photos are really subtle. It says, the heady sweetness of fresh fig deepened by the rich warmth of cloves and pepper. I love clove. If I had a choice, like when I smell a cinnamon candle, I'm not in love with it. But when I smell a clove candle, I love it. Like balsam and clove, love. I love clove because it's very warm. It's very holiday. It, it puts you in that mood like it's chilly out without being like you're walking into Michael's. Fig, when I think of a fig candle, when I smell a fig candle, it's very sweet. It's very distinct. The Diptyque Velocicos perfume, the Diptyque Fig Candle, Mistletoe and Fig, Scentsy Midnight Fig, Bath and Body Works, I don't even know if they have a fig, like a traditional fig candle. But anyway, they smell like fig. I don't get fig in here until I burn it. When I burn it, you get that cinnamon in the clove. And what else did it say? Pepper. You don't get cinnamon. It's clove and pepper. And it's like pink pepper, not black pepper. So it has a little bit of a zinginess, a little bit of a sharpness to it. And the fig just mellows it out. Really gives it a little bit of a sweetness. It's really cool. This is one you would feel like you're walking into a library of a very fancy man's, uh, like walk through a foyer, beautiful home, beautiful books. This is a candle that he's burning in the foyer, color and all. That's what he's burning. It's very upscale. It's very different. It's very like, what is that? Like you wonder, I've never smelled anything like it before type of smell. Mm. I love it. And this one throws, they all throw, but it's really strong. Then we have sweet frosting. This is the only Elevation candle that I'm not sold on yet. And I just have to, like every other one I burn and burn and burn and I like it. And I will say, this is like, this is my third one at this point. The more I burn it, the more, I don't know why I'm like doing this today, but that's what I'm doing and it's my video, right? Um, 
It does not smell like a cupcake. It does not smell like a canned frosting. It does smell buttery, but like it smells like, it smells like frosting with 10 pounds of butter. I, I, it's really hard to describe this. I mean, there's a cinnamon stick. The notes really don't give me a lot on it. It really just says, sweet frosting is a delectable rendition of the classic, creamy vanilla and a touch of spice. I don't get much spice. It just smells like a very buttery frosting, like a very buttery buttercream. And there's a note in here that I'm not sure. When you burn it, it comes out. When you smell it on cold, it comes out. But it is different. I feel like this is a really good crowd pleaser. I feel like if you have company coming over, if you have a family member coming over and you're like, I don't know what to burn, I don't know what they like. This is like upscale vanilla. So yeah, but other than that, I don't understand. Like, I like it. It's my least favorite elevation out of all of them. It just has this weird, like, I don't know if it should belong in the elevation line or what. And if you guys ever see like these type of things on your candles, it's an air bubble. There's nothing wrong with your candle, but when they pour the wax, and it hardens, it could have a little bit of air, see, in the side, but there's nothing wrong with it. Like when it burns, it burns down fine. Then we have Ginger Pumpkin. So Ginger Pumpkin is actually the original Pure Radiance candle. Same name, same scent, same everything. And this one says a gathering of harvest spices, cinnamon, clove, ginger, and pumpkin that's refreshing and warm. It's zingy. You get ginger. If you have ginger in a smoothie, if you have ginger in a salad dressing, if you have ginger in anything, it's dominant. It's the first flavor you taste. Kombucha, no matter what flavor it is, because there's ginger in kombucha, you taste ginger. You smell ginger. You smell ginger. I like this. It's not my favorite pumpkin scent. My all-time favorite pumpkin scent is going to be coming up. But it's quintessential fall for me. This will be the, I believe, the third year they've had this for fall. And I've bought it every year, so this year isn't different. I like having it in the fall, in my transition scents for fall. Because it does make you feel like you're in the fall. You have your spices, you have your pumpkin, but you really have the ginger in the forefront that really makes this pow, kick, zing up your nose the moment you smell it. Now, I bought this in the large. I bought this in the medium. Look at the color wax. I love the smooth wax. And I bought it in the small because I want to put this on my dining room table on the first day of fall, the official first day of fall, and light it and just enjoy. And I love the way it looks and I can't wait to photograph them. Then we have my all time favorite pumpkin fragrance of all time. I've smelled a lot of pumpkin. I've burned a lot of pumpkin. I've been to pumpkin patches. Fall is my favorite season. Orange is my favorite color. Fall is my favorite scent. Fall is my favorite scent. Pumpkin is my, one of my favorite scents. If I only had one pumpkin scent for the rest of my life, if anybody asks me what's your favorite pumpkin candle, Tonka Bean and Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. Done. No questions asked. Simple, answered, done. Tonka Bean and Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. I was so sad my outlet only had one of these left because I would have bought, at the price, $15, I would have bought like five or six. It's like this butternut squashy orange. The picture has a beautiful pumpkin on it. Can I just have a moment? It's the happiest scent. This is a powerhouse. In my old apartment, I had one of these in the kitchen. It filled up the entire apartment. My roommate didn't like it, but I hated them, so I didn't care. <laughs> anyway, the notes on this are 
a warm and woodsy blend that invokes smoky tendrils of incense, carrying hints of spice, vanilla, and baked pumpkin. You get pumpkin, you get your spices, you get your tonka bean and vanilla. Tonka bean is a more sophisticated vanilla. Vanilla can come off cloying, can come off really too sweet. So I love that it's not a vanilla bean and pumpkin. I love that it's a tonka bean and pumpkin because it's sophisticated. It creates this creaminess. It creates this warmth. It creates, like I said, if you told me tomorrow, Drew, you can only have one candle for the entire fall season every year for the rest of your life from August 1st, which is when I start burning fall, till November 1st, you can burn one candle. Give me tonka bean and pumpkin. Give it to me all day, every day. I'll never complain. I'll never be sick of this scent. Can I say I love it? I love it. Oh, and of course I got it in the large. They did have it in the medium. They did have a couple I should have bought more. And they got it in the small. Again, can't wait to burn all these together. Can't wait to let it throw me out of the house. Nobody here to tell me they don't like it. And it's fabulous. Last but not least is a holiday scent. And I say it's interesting for holiday. I don't like Christmas tree. I don't like Christmas tree scents. They do have a frosted fur. I brought it over because I do have it. I don't want, I mean, it, it's a Christmas tree scent. I don't like Christmas tree scents. I haven't really found a Christmas tree scent that I really like. It's just not my style for Christmas, for holiday. Holiday pomegranate is my style for holiday. Guys, it's bubbly. I want celebration. I want fun. I want fruity. I'm going to tell you what this smells like and not what the description says. It smells like if you like black cherry, if you like fruity, it smells like black cherry. Maybe a little bit of pomegranate, but to me it's black cherry. Champagne, a little bit of like a bubbly effervescent celebration and vanilla. It's a creamy scent. It's bubbly, it's fruity, it's effervescent. It's perfect. It's a celebration in a jar on Christmas day. If you have a Christmas party, if you have a big celebration, if you have opening Christmas presents, if you have anything that involves celebrating, having a group of people, and you want it to smell like the holidays without smelling like Christmas, like Nest Holiday Candle. It's great, but it doesn't smell like Christmas. It smells like Christmas, but it doesn't smell like a traditional Christmas. That's what I want to say. This is the same. Celebrate with holiday pomegranate if you want non-traditional Christmas, but still have Christmas. I, again, got it in the three wick. Look at how just beautiful that looks. Like, I'm a sucker for a fresh candle. And I got it in the small. Love it. These smalls, I mean, I might even, like, put one in the din dining room, one in my bedroom, and one, like, a small one in the bathroom so it, like, fills the whole house with scent. Either way, this is a 20-minute video sharing the love of Yankee Candles Elevations. You need to try them. If you've tried the Elevations, what are you burning? What are you loving? I'm burning passion flower right now, and I am loving it. It's 96 degrees in Pittsburgh. It's disgusting. It's 68 in my apartment because I love the cold, and it smells amazing because Elevations are great. I know it sounds like a paid sponsorship from Yankee Candle. It's not. I spent my own money on these because I love them so much. Thank you, guys. I'm making sentences, adding a period at the end. Super sharp. I don't know why I'm doing that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment. Comment and let's chat. I love talking to you guys. I love sharing the love. And I love elevations. So... Buy yourself some elevations when those Yankee Candle stores open again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!